Okay, so last week I showed you how to connect your iPhone or iPad running Prime to your X32 console using just a USB cable. But we talked about what do you do if your console is far enough away from your phone or your iPad that you can't use a USB cable. Now you may be thinking, oh, I'll go to Amazon, I'll order a USB extender to extend that. But it doesn't work in this case because one, it's likely to fail. And two, uh, the data needs to go so quickly and there's so much data uh, that it just can't run over a USB extender. It's not a good idea to try that. Um, but there's a solution and something we can do in this case. It's going to require a couple other pieces of gear, but it all comes down to this one magical box. And this is it. This is the Clark Technic uh, DN 9630. And essentially what this does is it's going to convert USB signal here to AES 50 signal here. Now, if you have an X32, then you're probably familiar with on the back, there's a port that says AS50 A and B. Uh, that maybe that's how you connect your S16 stage box or S32 stage box. We're going to use this DN9630 with Prime to connect to our X32 over a long distance. And let's talk about what we need to make this happen. We have our D, uh, DN9630 right here. Okay, so we're going to use that. We have a ethernet cable, so we're gonna connect this to our X32. This could be as long as we possibly need it to be. Uh, and in this case, this is about a 15 foot cable because my X32 is right next to me. I have a USB cable, we used this in our last video. We have our adapter that's gonna take us from lightning to lightning to USB. And then we have our phone running prime, right? That's the heart of it. So let's start to make our connection. We're gonna take this ethernet cable. I'm gonna go into the AES50A port on my X32. Okay, so I've got that connected. I'm gonna take the other end of this ethernet cable and we're gonna to connect to this DN9630. So let's go right here. Let's plug this in. Now, nothing's gonna happen yet. It's not powered, it's not receiving power from this. It's gonna actually receive power from our USB cable here in just a second. So let's take uh, our adapter and let's power our adapter. So I have a iPhone charger here plugged in over to the side and we're gonna plug that in there to provide power, okay? Let's take our USB cable and we're gonna plug one end of this. Let's see if we can get this untangled here, good enough. We're gonna plug one end of this into our DN9630, okay? And then we're gonna plug the other end of this into our charger. Okay, so into our adapter here. Uh, we have to have our charger in order for this to work because we need it to provide enough power uh, to actually power um, the DN9630. So let's plug this into our phone now. Okay. Here in a second, you'll see, uh, well, I guess you'll hear, uh, or at least I heard it and felt the iPhone kind of turn on and say, okay, uh, we got enough power. And then you'll see, it takes a second, but you'll see the uh, DN9630 power up here. We've got that blue light showing up. Now, what's cool about this, if I'm looking on Prime, we see this outs button uh, lights up, and that basically means, hey, uh, you have an audio interface connected, you can do routing. So what I could do is click on the outs button here, and you'll see, it's, I know it's a little hard to see, it's a little far away, there's a little bit of a glare, but I have these options down below each track to, to route my uh, audio from tracks uh, to my audio interface. So what I could do is I could toggle through either stereo or mono, which is great. And then I can say, okay, what channel do I want this to be? Uh, all the way to 32. So just like we saw with our X32 when we connected via USB. And then when we get to uh, 32, uh, oh, actually this one goes to 48. So we have a lot of clicking to do. Um, on my X32, I'm only gonna use 32 possible channels here. We'll actually use 16 for this example. But I could click through each of these and route this, and then it's saved uh, with my set list, particularly if I, uh, if I use Loop Pro uh, and subscribe there, then that's gonna be saved with my set list and I can sync uh, across devices, which is great. Uh, if I'm not subscribed, then it will just save locally to each uh, track. But it's worth signing up for Loop Pro so that you get the syncing across devices, which is great. Now, let me take you over to X32 Edit, which is uh, connected to my console. We're gonna to go to the routing page here and we wanna make sure our routing is set up so that we can make all our tracks go from channel 17 through 32. So 16 channels of tracks, I, I know that's a lot, that may be more than you need, but we're gonna set this up so that channel 17 through 32 are gonna be uh, from Prime here. So in routing, we just have to ask ourselves, okay, where's our audio coming from? It's connected to AES50A we're routed th uh, to channels one through 16. So we're gonna take one right here and set this to channel 17 through 24. And then we're gonna take nine through 16 and set that to channels 25 through 32. 
Okay. So uh, with this setup, 17 through 32, if I go to my console, these are now all my tracks uh, uh, inputs from Prime. So you would want to go through here. You want to uh, label them. You want to stereo link uh, things so that they're, if they're in stereo, then they're linked together. But with this, with this setup, what's really cool is I could make this Ethernet cable as long as it needs to be. It could be a 200 foot Ethernet cable from uh, the stage back to my X32, and I can make that connection. But it's also possible, let's say you have an S16 console, or S16 stage box rather, on stage with you. Uh, let's say our S16 stage box is connected to our X32 already. And the way we've connected it is through Ethernet. We took an Ethernet cable and we went to the back of the S16. We plugged into the AES 50A port. And then we took the other end of the cable and plugged it into our X32 into its AES 50A port. Okay. With that set up now, I'm going to take my Ethernet cable that I had for my DN9630 and I'm going to plug that into the back of my S16 stage box. Okay. So there's an additional port on that, the AES50B port. I'm going to connect to that AES50B port on my S16 stage box. Now, everything here, all of this stuff here stays the same, but let's go to uh, X32 edit now. We're going to go to routing. I've got my S16 stage box connected to AS50A, okay? So I'm gonna set this back to where uh, my channels one through 16 are the physical connections on my S16 stage box. But you'll see on here, I now have 17 through 48. I've got 32 additional channels. Where are those coming from? The S16 only has 16 physical connections. Where in the heck is that coming from? It's coming from that DN9630. So here's what's cool about this. Channel 17 AES50A, uh, is now channel one from the DN9630. So I can go here and say channels 17 through 24, and then channels 25 through 32 are channels nine through 16 uh, from my DN9630. So this is gonna function exactly the same way as it did when we were physically connected uh, to the X32 from our DN9630, and it's gonna show up and function exactly the same way as it did uh, when we were physically connected to our X32. This time, instead of using our card inputs, uh, we're using our AES50 port that's coming from our S16, which we have our DN9630 connected to the AES50B port on our S16. Now that's a lot to say, it's a lot of AS50 ports, but it's super powerful and a really easy way to get uh, multiple outputs from Prime to your X32 without using a audio interface. Technically, in this scenario, our DN9630 is functioning as our audio interface, but this just makes it super easy. It saves all your physical connections on your S16 stage box, uh, and your sound engineer is gonna be quite happy because they're gonna get eight additional or however many inputs you are eating up using tracks. They're gonna get that back because of that box. Now, if you wanna purchase that box, you can click the link in the description of this video to check it out uh, and to pick it up. Uh, and if you wanna see more content like this, uh, talking about running tracks on stage, uh, integrating technology on stage, um, then make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, I post a new video every single day, so make sure you hit the bell icon to be notified when that goes live. Uh, and you could click through, uh, check out the title if it sounds like something you're interested in. You could check out the tutorial. And if not, you can come back the next day and check out what I'm talking about then. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for being a part of the channel. Thanks for the support. We'll see you on the next one. Bye, everybody.